Next, we have the random access memory, or simply called RAM. RAM is the main memory of the computer system, and it allows data to be read, read and written at the same speed. Its function is to provide the working area of programs, and they are to be executed by the CPU, and therefore it will always store the user program and the data. And when the computer boots up, it will load the operating system such as Windows or Mac OS from the hard disk. But there is one limitation of the RAM, it is volatile. That means all the information will be lost when the computer power is switched off. For example, the most common RAM we are using today is the SD RAM. That means they are volatile. They cannot keep the data when the computer is turned off. And in modern personal computers, usually the computer will have a quite a large amount of RAM. Let's say it can be as large as 16 gigabyte. And we have also a clock speed for the RAM too. Uh, besides CPU, RAM has also its own clock speed. For example, 133, 133 megahertz. And you can notice that the clock speed of the RAM is much lower than the CPU. RAM is actually slower than the CPU. CPU is the fastest device in the computer. And since RAM is made of uh, silicon, therefore the data transfer rate is also high. So let's say this is a 1600 megabyte per second. 